let's discuss the number one vitamin deficiency behind tired eyes. Now you may automatically think it's your computer screen, which is possibly true, but there's also a vitamin deficiency behind tired eyes. This deficiency can also create strained eyes. It can actually make your eyes sensitive to light. It can cause a burning feeling in your eyes, uh, make your eyes very irritated, feeling like there's little sand particles in the eye when there's not. It can make your eyes water. Now, I had this problem when I was in my late 20s. I wish I would have known what it was because it was driving me crazy. It created a um, dryness in my eye, which then created cracking in my cornea. And I had all sorts of eye problems. But this deficiency can create bloodshot eyes and eventually cataracts. In fact, they treat corneal thinning with this nutrient. But what happens when you're deficient in this nutrient? The cornea, it's kind of like a protective shield on the surface of your eye, um, starts to become abnormal, specifically the blood vessels in that layer. Well, can you take a guess what this deficiency is? If you guessed vitamin B2, you are correct. If you're deficient in B2, you also may feel like your throat is sore or experience cracking in your lips, especially in the corners and even a red tongue. Now, in past videos, I talked about uh, cracked corners of the mouth being a vitamin B3 deficiency and a B2 deficiency because vitamin B2 actually helps vitamin B3 convert from tryptophan into the active form of B3. So both of these vitamins could be involved. And also vitamin B2 allows for the conversion of vitamin B6 from the inactive form to the active form. So if you know anything about vitamin B6 as well as B3, they're very, very important vitamins and they're dependent on vitamin B2. You can also experience uh, like migraines or, or even headaches behind the eyes if you're deficient in B2. Well, where do you get B2? It's in liver and organ meats. It's in meat, eggs, and fish, and chicken, and milk products like cheese. It's also in green vegetables to a certain degree, but not as much as these products right here. You can also get it in nutritional yeast and even brewer's yeast and some of your microbes actually make it. And the other question is, how do you become deficient? Well, if your microbes make B2 and you take antibiotics, that could be one reason. Another reason is you consume refined grains, which I lived on all the way up until I was probably, you know, mid-20s, especially refined wheat. And this is why in certain countries, they fortify uh, grains or at least refined grains with some of these B vitamins. But of course, they're synthetic. Also, if you're doing like um, refined corn products, you know, corn chips, corn tortillas, um, that can create a deficiency of B2, not to mention other vitamins as well. Sometimes you're more deficient in B2 if you're a vegan or if you're a vegetarian athlete because your mitochondria needs B2. And if you're using more energy, you can use up your B2 reserve. And if you don't have enough, you can experience that. Another situation would be hypothyroidism. Okay. And then of course, alcohol, that's a given and uh, high amounts of sugar. So if you're a diabetic, for example, you may be deficient just because there's higher levels of sugar and in the metabolism of sugar, you need B2 as one of the enzymes as well as B1. Also, if you're under high stress, okay, you can use up more B2. All right. I've just given you the secret of how to fix your tired eyes. And of course, the blue light from the LED, you know, computer screens is a huge factor. Now, the next most appropriate video would be on a topic called uh, EMF, uh, electromagnetic fields. Check it out. I put it right here.